Yo, what's up, everybody? Dry here, and today I'm gonna give you guys my so far my opinion of Call of Duty Ghosts and sniping, or or just sniping side of Call of Duty Ghosts. <coughs> but uh, if you guys remember the last video uploaded, which is last week, I still am sick. I had pneumonia. I've been getting pneumonia a lot since I got it about two years ago, and ever since then it's like real easy for me to get it. So I've been kind of sick these past two two weeks. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's go and get to it. So, Call of Duty Ghosts came out yesterday, which was Tuesday, November 5th, if you guys don't know that, which most of you guys probably do, but who cares, just really nothing, no one cares about that, no one cares about it, okay? but, uh, anyways, I got the game yesterday, I came home, put it in, after about an hour, from how far I live from a GameStop or a Walmart, I have to go about 30 to 45 minutes just to get to a GameStop, and then that length back, and all this stuff in between, it's really, it's like going through hell to get the game, honestly. But, uh, it's a fun game, so it paid off. But, uh, I got the game yesterday and started playing it. We got home. I probably played, like, four hours yesterday, but it's off and on because I was, like, very tired because I didn't really sleep the night before that. So, I didn't really get the, pretty much, gra a grasp, as you could say, the whole, whole thing. I sniped a little bit. I didn't come nowhere close to any clip. I think the most I got was a triple, which is pretty close to any clip, but there was no one else. But, in any other game, I feel that if I would have got that triple... And the way that the snipers are in this game, that there would have been one more person there, so I'd have that quad feet. But I think that Call of Duty Ghost for that is going to lower its standards and uh, um, for your feed, uh, in your kill feed, you know. But I th it, this game, I think, is going to be the game that changes sniping in general because the kill feed is in a different corner. And you, I don't think that you can get a six on anything above a five on screen. So a six on screen, I don't think you can get. I have, at least I haven't seen it in the feed yet. I have seen someone get a five, five on screen, but that was on YouTube. And but so far, the sniping part of this seems pretty fun. It's child, it's definitely challenging. It's different. It's harder. So hitting close really shows your skill. And another thing is that how fast you die makes you change your game style a little bit. So other than running and gunning like you would do in Black Ops 2, just run around and see someone just quick scope them, and you just pretty much have an even chance of killing them. It's different because the ARs and the assault rifles and the LMGs and all that other stuff, you can literally take two or three bullets from that gun and kill someone with it. So imagine, you know, the LMGs in Black Ops 2, how they're just spraying you down. It's so annoying. This game's not really annoying. It's more based on your skill and, you know, your thought, the way you... The moves you make is pretty. I I never played chess, but I guess you consider it as chess because, which is a gay way to put it. This, it's a gay way to put it, but that's honestly how it is. Because if you move wrong, then you're fucked. And I mean that honestly, mean that because it takes like two or three bullets, as I said, to kill someone with. And if you hit someone in the right spot with a sniper, it's only one bullet as always. But the snipers are more powerful than I think they were in any other game. Um, because you can hit someone in their leg, or their, you know, up upper part of their leg, and it still kill them. Uh, another thing is the, the maps are so huge, they're more like battlefield maps. And finding someone on, on them, or a whole bunch of a team together from running through the middle of the map, is not really common unless you get it into one of those games where you're playing against a bunch of noobs, which everybody's a noob on Call of Duty goes right now. But unless you get those like real down to heart, down to earth noobs that just run together in big old packs, then you're not gonna really see a lot of people together. And there's not really there's I think there's like two or three, four, five maybe small maps that you can actually play on the map that you guys are watching right now that I'm playing on is one of those big maps. And I, you can fairly see some people very easy. It's just a lot of hills and a lot of places to hide behind. So finding people is fairly difficult. But when you do see them, either you shoot them first and you kill them, or they shoot you. But it's really there's no there's not really any turning on people. It's not like uh, how MOG is with uh, well, with how it was in Black Ops 2, where I started this whole thing where you get shot at, you just mashed A button, scuff, jump the fuck out somebody, and just turn around, and just drop shot and spam. There's no doing that in this game unless you're absolutely going up against someone who's total shit. Because if you if someone gets a shot on you and they're sitting there and they're not because most people do not do don't quit spraying at you unless you're dead. And so. If you're pretty close in the spray, they get the first shot, and you're pretty much dead. So it's, this game is based on pretty much who gets the first shot. And for snipers, that changes up a lot because there's really no scope in this game. 
no scoping is difficult because there's not there you don't have any of those uh those four dots in case you can see them crosshairs in the middle of your screen so i don't really i don't think that really has anything to do with your no scoping it's pretty much just positioning your sniper in the middle of the screen but i do think no scoping is more difficult in this game so with snipers you play you change your game style by staying back and not really running and gunning as much as you would do in any other game you just pretty much stay back and overall guys this game is honestly fun i'm gonna play this game for a while um pro you know i'm gonna play it for a while guys you know we ain't got another year uh, that probably sounded weird, but we ain't got another year until another uh, Call of Duty Ghost comes out. So I'm gonna try to make make this Call of Duty as fun as I can. With all the other Call of Duties, I was more of like forcing myself to hit clips, and I didn't really hit a lot of clips in the other Call of Duty. And that's the fact because if I did, then I would have had a lot more episodes out. But I hope that this game is the game that that gets me somewhere. Not really in such as uh, as clans, but I want I really want to make this my game that grows my YouTube channel. And hopefully you guys can help me get there. If so, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video the least bit, hope you did. If not, just click the dislike button and it lets me know that I did something wrong. And uh, if you guys like the video, please remember to subscribe and like. It really helps out a lot. When I say a lot, you guys, it really helps out a lot. Seeing likes makes people, like, lets me know that people like my videos. And subscribing makes me have an orgasm. Yeah, I said that. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to show a clip that I got earlier today, which really any clip more of a fail could have been my biggest clip, my best clip that I've ever gotten. I uh, <coughs> hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until tomorrow, guys, I will see you, brochachos and cappuccinos. Later. Bye. Already.